Welcome to ENG 099 Conversational American English. Tonight is the first of two lectures on reading American comic books. Um, how are you, Ilya? Fine, thank you. All right. How's the weather? Oh, it's snowing again. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Do you have to shovel your driveway? Now we can dr uh, drive, but I don't know what will be tomorrow. <laughs> wow. We maybe, had a... maybe 10 inches of snow. What? 10 inches? Yes. In April? Yes. Oh my gosh, Julia, I'm so sorry. Yes, in the end of April. <laughs> wow. 10 inches in April, wow. Yes. We had, uh, we had a little bit of hail here on Saturday, Friday or Saturday, a little bit, but not much. Jeez, 10 inches, wow. That's crazy. Yes. Oh, my gosh. All right. Um, how's everything else? All is good. All right. All right. All right. Uh, okay, so let's... Uh, Let's get started with the comic book. So we're going to read another story from The Phantom. Mm -hmm. All right. It's interesting, of course. Good, good. All right. So. Can you see this? Yes. Okay. So in this character, in this story, these are the characters. So there's The Phantom of the Fair, mm -hmm. Professor Carter, Mm-hmm. Sir Conway. Yes. Tikanda. Mm-hmm. Sergeant Collins. Yes. The driver. Yes. And the narrator. Yes. All right. And then vocabulary fair. What's a fair? Fair. It's a place where mm, different uh, shops can be and uh, where People can see, uh, I don't know, maybe achievements of uh, uh, their factories, their farms, uh, something else. Yeah, very good. And here also, I think it's a, it's it's also it's like their countries. Mm -hmm. So each country has it's like lots of countries come together and show off their achievements mm -hmm. to the world. Very good. All right. Let's get started on the comic then. <coughs> All right. Up from unknown caverns, deep under the fairgrounds, came the Phantom. Having wiped out the World Fair building racketeers, he is ever on the alert, ever ready to avert trouble, ever ever ready to avert trouble, seeing, knowing everything. The Phantom watches over the entire fair. All see his amazing feats, but no one knows who the Phantom is. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. Do you know who the Phantom is, Ilya? I don't know, too. Oh, my gosh. All right. I think that the Phantom is a, as a character, as a... Um, Phantomus. Phantomus. <laughs> nice. Nice. Very good. All right. Um, get rid of him, Conway. Take him back to the Arctic where you got him from. Are you crazy? He'll make me a million dollars before this fair is over. One day at the World's Fair Zoo. So these two men are talking about this gorilla or this Yeti, I don't know, this creature from the Arctic. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Snow gorilla. Snow gorilla. All right, I like it. All right. Money. That's all you can think of. If your prehistoric ape gets loose, he'll tear this fair into splinters. Mm -hmm. Can't. The bars in that cage are six inches in diameter and made of chrome steel. It's strong enough to... to, to, to Professor Carter, look. All right. So what is what is the man? Professor Carter is the man in blue. What does he want? 
I think that uh, uh, he uh, is uh, afraid uh, of uh, uh, the cage of this gorilla, that uh, uh, cage can be destroyed by gorilla, maybe. Very good. And now what does this man want? What does he think? Uh, I think that uh, this man is responsible for um, uh, the, the for this cage and gorilla, and he uh, he am sure he is sure that uh, cage is uh, very uh, strong. Uh, mm. But uh, I think that uh, he is uh, a bad man, and uh, he uh, has money. Ah, well, we will see. All right. As Professor Carter and Sir Conway, so this man's name is Sir Conway, uh -huh. make, make their way through the frantic crowd. They see Taconda, the prehistoric gorilla captured by Sir Conway in the glaciers of the Arctic, tearing at the bars of the cage surrounding him. So what is the gorilla doing? He's tearing at the bars. Tearing at the bars, I think that uh, gorilla is uh, is not glad to be in a cage. All right, very good, very good, very good, very good. All right. The drugs you fed him are wearing off faster than you expected. What are you going to do now? Guards, get everybody out of here as fast as you can. You may know your textbooks, Professor, but I'll show you a thing or two about taking care of animals. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so now. All right. All right. So page one question. Where is Sikanda from? For, from uh, Arctic uh, region, from uh, Arctic uh, place, from north. Good. The Arctic region. Perfect. All right. Okay. Page two. All right. I hope you're right for the sake of everybody near here. Here. Put on this gas mask. All right. Get those knockout gas bombs and form a circle around the cage. What are knockout gas bombs, do you think? Gas bombs? Uh, I don't know. This uh, special uh, kind of uh, bomb, bomb with gas, uh, and uh, some, um, I don't know, somebody can... Uh, through this bomb, and uh, these bombs are, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, are not good for other people. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's like it will make him, it'll make the gorilla like fall asleep or make people fall asleep. Uh huh. That type, of, that type of bomb. So it's not like an explosion, it's like it makes you, it's like drugs, it makes you fall asleep. Uh huh. Okay. Conway. He's bending those chrome steel bars. He'll be out of the cage in a minute. All right. Get those snares set. Everybody throw at once. Okay. Let him go. Oh. Simul simultaneously, the guards throw the bombs filled with the gas at the gorilla. Instead of taking effect, the gas only increases Tikanda's fury. In a split second, he tears the cage wide open. So, what what is fury? Fury, mm, um, more angry. Perfect. Yes. So the so the bombs they didn't make him fall asleep. They made him more angry. Yeah. All right. It's happened. Get out of here, Conway, before you pay for it with your life. So pay for it with your life. What does he mean? Uh, I think that 
Горилла uh, can be released and can be uh, and uh, uh, he can kill uh, people around him. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Tossing everything in its way aside, the towering gorilla heads for the door to escape the gas. So he's throwing the men. Very big girl. Mm -hmm. All right. Forget about me, Carter. Notify the police. Get him out of here. His gas mask has been broken. All right. <coughs> but now <laughs> these people will sleep. Yes, yes. All right. So this quest. All right. Well, page two is kind of obvious, but. Why was Professor Carter worried? Uh, professor knows that Taekwondo uh, uh, can be uh, very dangerous for other people. Great. Okay. All right. With the police trailing him, Takanda wanders into the cellar of the army building. Puzzled at the strange surroundings, he fingers with the switchboard as electrical sparks fly up at Takanda. He crashes into the switchboard, seeking to destroy it, and accidentally jams the controls. And... Oh. Meanwhile, the police are trying to clear the people out of the army exhibition room. Suddenly, doors shut, exhibits stop, and the air conditioning system is thrown into full speed. Great guns! We're locked in! Look! Everything stopped! Everything's stopping! Takanda must be monkeying with the controls in the cellar. So he's playing with the building controls of lights and air conditioning and everything. Yes. Good. <coughs> Driven away from the switchboard by the sparking, Takanda turns to investigate further into the strange surroundings. We have to get out of here somehow. With that gorilla in the cellar, we have a good chance of trapping him. Yeah, but how? The door is as solid as a brick wall. I have it. How about shooting it open with that anti-aircraft gun? And kill half the people around here when the shell explodes? Say, I'm beginning to freeze. All right. A short time later, icicles begin to form the moisture in the air. Form from, excuse me. A short time later, icicles begin to form from the moisture in the air. As the temperature drops to below zero, the half-frozen crowd tears frantically at the doors, but in vain. Listen to him. He's probably breaking up everything there is in the cellar. Things scare him, and naturally he will try to destroy them. Let's hope he doesn't get hurt by anything, so he'll decide to leave and go somewhere else. All right. Okay, page three. Why did he get so cold? Because Taekwondo uh, broke uh, uh, the control panel. Good. Good. All right. Get those fire axes. We may be able to chop a hole in the door before it becomes covered with ice. 
We better do something fast. These people are dropping like flies from the exposure. From the adjoining building, a strange figure dives for a nearby flagpole high above the gathering crowds, and then sends himself flying feet first at the floor at the door of the army building. Ooh. Sorry. <clears throat> All right. As the crowd gasps in amazement, he strikes the door with the speed of lightning, smashing it to smithereens. The Phantom! Where did he come from? At the same time as the Phantom enters the army building, Takanda in the cellar stops in his tracks and looks up at the ceiling as if sensing some strange, familiar fear. Climbing on top of one of the air conditioning motors, he raises his arms and pushes upward, crashing through the ceiling into the frozen exhibition room. All right. So what did the Phantom do? Phantom broke uh, the ceiling. He broke the what? The ceiling. The door. The door. Good, good. Yeah, the door. The door. He came in. Yeah, he came in through the ceiling. He came in through the ceiling. Good. Through the ceiling, and broke the door. Why was? Why did he break the door? Mm, this door was uh, very mm, strong and hard, and people could not broke it. Okay. So the people could escape. Yes. Good, good, good. All right, good. Okay. All right. At the sight of the phantom, memories of thousands of years ago flash back into the mind of Takanda. Memories of how at one time the phantom had fought him and won a terrific battle with him. Suddenly, Takanda lets out a deafening screech and tears through the wall trying to escape his ancient enemy like a panther. The phantom springs after Takanda. Great saints! That gorilla was scared stiff at the sight of the phantom. Then, then, all these stories about the phantom being thousands of years old must be true. Get those guns through the door. We're going after that gorilla. The phantom may need some help, and we're going to be there just in case he does. From what I've heard, I don't think he needs any of our help. He's so fast, nothing could get a hold of him. While Sergeant Collins has his men, while Sergeant Collins has his men take the anti-aircraft guns out of the army building, Takanda tears wildly through the fair with the Phantom close at his heels. Fools! They should have known better than to try to keep Takanda in the cage after being used to the wide Arctic spaces. There are enough strange things here to scare him into a state of frenzy, without having a crowd of curious people staring at him all day long. What's a frenzy? I don't know this word. So a state of fren okay, a state of frenzy is like frenzy means you're going crazy. Like your mind if you're in a state of frenzy, your mind is going crazy. Yes. Okay, okay. You can't concentrate. So Takanda's mind is going wild. Mm-hmm. All right. Look! Takanda! Get out of here! Okay. Page five. Does Sikanda know the phantom? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's impossible. But... <laughs> well, all right, all right. We'll, oh, wait, wait, wait. we'll go back, we'll go back, we'll go back. Okay. <laughs> Taekwondo uh, saw phantom many years ago and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Good, good. <laughs> There was uh, the struggle between them. Okay, okay, okay. But I don't yeah. know how it was.
Most possible. <laughs> okay, okay. These questions are not are not super serious. Okay, okay. So yeah, so the Takanda new Phantom from years ago. Yes. From years ago. And they had a struggle. Okay. Yes. <laughs> good, good, good. And how do you know? I don't know how it was possible. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. All right, all right. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right, we're almost making progress here. All right. Fleeing from the Phantom, Takanda stumbles onto one of the trains of the giant roller coaster and is carried up the steel climb. So he's on the roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Do you like roller coasters, Ilya? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> uh, okay. It's a, a race. Uh, 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 it's a re uh, it's a right in a place where children c c can play. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's too late. He's over the first dip now. There's no way of stopping. <clears throat> the Phantom. Quickly. <coughs> Get that next one started. While rounding one of the turns, another coaster on the return track heads for the one Takanda is on. Oh, yes. Frightened at the roller coaster train coming at him, Takanda sweeps it off the track with his powerful arm, and the driver is hurled into the air. Instantly, the Phantom dives after the driver and catches him before he reaches the ground. The Phantom saved him. Yes. Placing, mm, placing the driver on the catwalk, the Phantom climbs to the uppermost part of the roller coaster and waits for the train Takanda is on. All right, page six. What happened to the driver? Takanda uh, threw the driver out of uh, this uh, car. Great. Excellent, yes. Yes. And then what? But Phantom saved him. Great. As it passes below him, the Phantom dives down at Takanda, but is swept aside by his powerful arm. Mm -hmm. Takanda punched the Phantom. Again, the Phantom leaps at Takanda, this time clasping his strong arms around his legs. Twisting his foot, the Phantom throws Takanda off his balance, and he falls out of the train. Crashing through the steel framework to the tracks below. As they land, the Phantom jumps swiftly to the gorilla's neck and tightens his arm around it, closing up his windpipe. Step on it. There he is on the roller coaster. Got those shells in? All right. Page seven, what do the police want to do? I think police want uh, to catch uh, this uh, Taekwondo. Okay. And why do they have the guns? Because they are afraid of uh, Taekwondo, of course. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Because Taekwondo is dangerous for them. Great. Hold fire! Means don't shoot. The Phantom is on his back. 
Takanda will kill him if he gets a grip on him. Wildly, Takanda tears through the steel structures, trying to shake the phantom off his back. But the powerful arms around his neck grow tighter and tighter. Exhausted, Takanda crumples and topples over the railing, crashing through the tracks below, and strikes the ground in a resounding crash. Killed that gorilla with his bare hands. Collins, look. As the men turn, they see the phantom leaving as swiftly and mysteriously as he came. I have seen many a fast and strong man, but he makes the best out of the whole, lock, whole lot look like a timid soul. Another episode of the phantom will appear in the next issue. Watch for it. All right, last question here. What happened to Takanda? I think that he died. Yeah. How did he die? This phantom... Uh, <laughs> fought him. Uh, Phantom. What What do you call it when you have your like hands around somebody's neck? What's do you know the word? Yes, and uh, uh, his arms were very strong. And right, 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 right. Taekwondo could not uh, to um, free from his arm um, arms. Right. So the word is uh, strangling. The phantom strangled him. Yes. Yes. Ooh. No. Mm -hmm. Bad spelling. Strangled him. Yes. All right. All right. Any other questions from the uh, comic? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think that uh, the professor was uh, was not glad to. Uh, lose uh, <laughs> this gorilla. No, no, definitely not. No, I'm sure he was very sad. It was probably good for good for. He wanted to study the gorilla, probably yes, for science. Yes, and uh, uh, to have money from people who want to hear this gorilla. Yeah, yeah. So it's very, it's very sad for, sad for, sad for Professor Carter, but he's still alive. So that's good. Yes, of course. All right. Uh, all right. Um, okay. So I think that's uh, that's it. That's it, Ilya. Unless you uh, unless you have any other questions or anything. No, <laughs> I like I, I liked this book. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, the Phantom's fun. Um, yeah. On Friday, we'll, I'm gonna do one more, and I will I will send you the the link. Uh, if you can't make it, if you're working or anything, I'll send you the link. So we'll do one more story. And um, next, uh, I'm going to do, so this week will be the last week of the course. But then I think I'm going to do it again in the summer sometime, uh -huh. so maybe June or July. Um, I'll start again. But uh, thank you very much for coming and for doing your homework. And... Uh, being a great student has been very fun to teach you. Yes, and uh, thank you for your lectures. They were very useful for me. Thank you. All right. You're welcome, Ilya. That's very kind of you. Very kind of you. Um, so, yeah, so I'll send you an email about Friday, and then when I start again in, some, um, in June or July, I'll send you an email also. Yes, thank All you. Right. All right. All right. Bye-bye, Ilya. Have a nice night. Bye-bye.